In this screencast, we're going to be explaining the market failure of the monopoly. We are going to understand what causes market failure. The graph that we have here, you can see, is a monopoly. Um, and the prompt that we have is explain why there is a market failure with a monopoly. When we talk about market failure, we talk about not achieving the socially optimal output or not producing at allocative efficiency. When we look here at the monopoly, we can see their output by using that profit maximizing output of MR equals MC, and that gives you the quantity of Q1. You take it up to the demand curve, and that will give you the price that the monopoly is charging. Compared with the socially optimal, the socially optimal output, we can use the formula of price equals marginal cost, or you can also use demand equals marginal cost. Either formula applies to allocative efficiency. When we look at that output, we see that the output, the socially optimal output, is larger than the output that the monopoly is producing at. That, however, is not the answer to the prompt. They're asking to explain why there is a market failure, not what is the market failure. Um, explaining that they're not producing at the allocatively efficient amount that is um, going to be more of the effect of the market failure instead of why there is a market failure. So you need to think about the cause. What causes market failure? Well, when you look at this graph here, what you can see is that the demand curve is downward sloping, unlike the perfectly competitive, where it's perfectly elastic. And then you have a marginal revenue curve that's less than the demand curve. And again, the reason why the marginal revenue curve is less than the demand curve is because for each additional unit that the monopoly produces, they have to lower the price not for just that next unit, but for all previous units. And that is why the marginal revenue curve is less than the demand curve. So in FRQs or situations like this, be really conscious of what it is that they're asking. In this case here, they're asking for the cause, um, which would be about marginal revenue being less than the demand curve, not about the effect, which is that they're not producing at the socially optimal output. I think it's always good to um, don't just state what, which would be the effect, but explain why, and the why here is the cause.